Comprehensive Engineering Analysis of BrahMos Missile Propulsion Technology 1. Introduction The BrahMos Missile, a result of the collaboration between India's Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, and Russia's NPO Machinostroenia, stands out for its advanced propulsion system. The missile is known for its high speed, precision, and versatility, capable of being launched from various platforms, including land, sea, and air. 2. Propulsion System Overview The BrahMos missile uses a dual-stage propulsion system. 3. Solid Rocket Booster First Stage The solid rocket booster provides the initial thrust necessary to launch the missile and accelerate it to the speed required for the ramjet engine to operate. Design and Composition Solid Propellant The booster uses a composite solid propellant, typically a mixture of oxidizers like ammonium perchlorate, binders such as hydroxyl terminated polybutadiene, HTP, and powdered aluminum as fuel. This combination ensures high energy output and stable combustion. Structure The booster is designed to be aerodynamically efficient, with a casing made from high strength materials to withstand the pressures and temperatures generated during launch. Working Principle Ignition Upon launch, the solid propellant is ignited by an ignition system, which initiates a rapid and controlled combustion process. Thrust generation. The combustion of the solid propellant generates high temperature and high pressure gases. These gases are expelled through a convergent-divergent nozzle, converting thermal energy into kinetic energy to produce thrust. The thrust is guided by the nozzle's geometry, optimizing the missile's acceleration. Burn time and separation. The solid rocket booster burns for a specific duration, typically a few seconds, to accelerate the missile to supersonic speeds, around Mach 2. Once the fuel is depleted, the booster is jettisoned to reduce drag and weight, allowing the ramjet engine to take over. 4. Ramjet Engine Second Stage After the missile reaches the necessary speed, the ramjet engine is activated to sustain the missile's high-speed cruise phase. Design and Composition Air Intake The ramjet engine has a fixed geometry air intake designed to compress incoming air as the missile travels at high speed. This compression is achieved through shock waves generated at the intake. Combustion Chamber The compressed air is mixed with liquid fuel, typically kerosene or a similar hydrocarbon, in the combustion chamber. The fuel injectors are designed to ensure efficient atomization and mixing with the compressed air. Exhaust nozzle, the combustion chamber leads to a convergent-divergent nozzle, which accelerates the exhaust gases to supersonic speeds, generating thrust. Working principle, air compression. As the missile moves at supersonic speeds, air enters the intake and is compressed through a series of oblique shock waves. The compressed air is then decelerated in a diffuser section, increasing its pressure and temperature. Fuel injection and combustion, Liquid fuel is injected into the combustion chamber, where it mixes with the compressed air. The high-pressure and high-temperature environment ensures efficient combustion of the fuel-air mixture. Thrust generation. The combustion process produces high-energy gases that expand and accelerate through the exhaust nozzle. The nozzle's design converts the thermal and pressure energy into kinetic energy, producing high-speed exhaust jets and generating thrust. The efficiency of the ramjet engine increases with the missile's speed, making it ideal for sustained supersonic cruise. Advantages of the ramjet engine High speed The ramjet engine allows the BrahMos missile to maintain cruise speeds of up to Mach 3, significantly reducing the reaction time for enemy defenses. Simplicity and reliability The ramjet engine has no moving parts, making it simpler and more reliable compared to turbojet or turbofan engines. Efficiency. The ramjet is highly efficient at supersonic speeds, providing sustained high-speed flight over long distances. 5. Integration and Performance. The integration of the solid rocket booster and the ramjet engine provides the BrahMos missile with unique capabilities. The solid rocket booster ensures rapid acceleration to supersonic speeds, after which the ramjet engine takes over for sustained high-speed crews. This combination allows the missile to achieve a range of up to 450 kilometers with a speed of Mach 3, making it one of the fastest and most versatile cruise missiles in service. Operational versatility. 
Land-based launch. The missile can be launched from mobile launchers, providing flexibility and rapid deployment. Sea-based launch. It can be deployed from ships and submarines, enhancing naval strike capabilities. Air-based launch. The missile can be launched from aircraft, extending its reach and allowing for strategic aerial strikes. 6. Conclusion The propulsion technology of the BrahMos missile, combining a solid rocket booster and a ramjet engine, exemplifies advanced engineering and international collaboration. Its ability to achieve high speeds and long ranges with precision makes it a formidable asset in modern warfare. The BrahMos missile's propulsion system is a testament to significant advancements in missile technology, ensuring its place as a key component in strategic defense arsenals.